What's up guys? We are back with another video. If you are new here, my name is Sammy and we are the Mermaid Gang. This is where you can come and suspend your disbelief. I am your favorite manifestation coach and your favorite YouTuber. So, if you'd like for me to help you dissolve whatever is between you and your manifestation, go ahead and sign up for coaching with me below. My dog is snoring. A lot of y'all said you don't mind, so. But I still always have people asking, what's that noise? It's just my dog. I posted her on my community tab if you want to see her. She's a pocket bully. She has a short snout. That's why she snores. So, anyway. I posted on Twitter that I needed video topics the other day and you guys really came with the topics but there was one that really concerned me. In order to manifest or improve our self-concept we have to listen to affirmations during the night or else we will not impress our subconscious and then we won't get our desire or change ourselves. You know it's coming, right? Guys, let me explain to you how manifestation works in the absolute simplest way I can explain it. First of all, while SATS is a good method, uh, it worked for Neville, Work, it, it's, it works for a lot of people. I'm speaking on this whole nighttime thing. Uh, sets or listening to things at night is not the only time to impress your subconscious. Uh, your subconscious is wide open multiple times through the day, first of all. Second of all, you didn't become who you are by listening to affirmations at night what were you doing before you learned about the law because you have an entire personality an entire reality that you fully manifested based on your thoughts and experiences that did not come from you listening to affirmations all night so what makes you think that you would need to do anything different now you've been manifesting your whole life and you never needed any of that to manifest anything that you've manifested, whether it was things you wanted or things you didn't want. Your entire reality is functioning based mm -hmm. on your man. You, it's your manifestation. I mean, your entire reality mm -hmm. is your manifestation. You did not need to listen mm -hmm. to affirmations all night long to do that. So why would you need to do that to change your reality? You don't. You are creating all the time. Your most dominant mm -hmm. thoughts and your current beliefs are mm -hmm. what are projected out into your reality. And another thing mm -hmm. that annoys me is affirmations is not a method. They're mm -hmm. just thoughts. You think all day long. Your thoughts are mm -hmm. what create your reality. Your most mm -hmm. dominant thoughts are what are projected out. Whatever you're feeding your subconscious, which you do all day long, by the way, not just at night. I don't know why people think it's just at night. Yeah, when you're in a drowsy state, you your subconscious is open and your conscious mind is less likely to fight you on whatever you're thinking about. But you're in sats multiple times through the day. Your subconscious is really always listening, if we're being honest. Your subconscious is always listening. Whether you got this filter up or not, your subconscious is always listening. And the thing you're telling it the most is the thing it's going to basically photocopy into your reality. The thing that you are feeding it the most, the thing that is becoming most familiar to your mind, it is accepting as true and pushing it out. This is why I say your subconscious has no opinion whatsoever. It takes whatever you're telling it and it produces it if you tell it enough. Even if it's something that is completely off the wall and opposite of what you have ever believed, if you tell it enough, it is going to think that it is true or it is 
something you are currently experiencing because it doesn't know what you're experiencing and what you're not experiencing. It only knows based on what you tell it. So it's taking all the information that you're putting in here and the most consistent and most dominant thoughts that you have are what are getting pushed out into your reality, into your world. Which is why you can think of your SP all day and then you'll see signs of them, their name or, some, or something to do with them. You'll see these things because your subconscious is always listening. It is always listening, not just at night. So that is bullshit. You don't have to listen to shit at night. You can do whatever you want at night. You can listen to affirmations at night. Mm -hmm. You could just listen to a good YouTube video that you like or something like that. But I have personally found that me affirming through the day and doing my 10 minute method is more effective mm -hmm. than trying to do sats at night or listening to affirmations that night have ever been. That never did anything for me. My method that I use through the day is the thing that has worked the best for me. It has worked without fail every single time. That nighttime shit just don't do it for me. Your subconscious has no opinion. It's always listening and it is going to take... Joseph Murphy actually said this. He said, your subconscious mind takes you at your word. So whatever you're constantly telling it, it has to, whatever you're consistently telling your, your mind, whatever you're consistently thinking, your thinking is what is sending messages to your subconscious, which is why I say affirmations is not a method. It is the way you have always manifested. Your thoughts are what manifest. You are constantly, if you're, con okay, say you're, we, we're talking about manifesting here specifically. So you have your chosen affirmations and you're doing my 10 minute method and, it, and outside of the 10 minute method, you are just making sure that if you think of your desire, you're affirming as if you already have it. Or you're affirming when you're doing casual things, like, like I always say, cleaning, shower, whatever, walking, what, whatever it is. Let's say you're doing that, okay? What has to happen is when your subconscious is getting the same message over and over and over again, it has to prove you to be right. So let's say you're affirming, I'm a master at manifesting and you're doing this all the time. Your subconscious has to prove that to be true because it is accepting this as an experience for you. It is it is accepting it as being true for you because you keep saying it, you keep thinking it. So if it has to prove that to be true to you, because that's its job, it has to give you any experience or produce any experience in your 3D reality that proves that you are a master at manifesting. It must be true. If you're consistently thinking something, your subconscious thinks it must be true. So it has to give you situations and experiences that prove it to be true. So if you're thinking all the time, I'm such a master at manifesting, manifesting is so easy for me, then it must make that true. So you are going to see your manifestations happening and you are going to experience it being very easy for you because it has to be true. But it is the same if you're saying, manifestation is so hard, I literally can't manifest anything. Your subconscious has to prove that to be true. So, anytime you try to manifest anything, even if you're doing all the right things, mm -hmm. but because you have convinced your subconscious that manifesting is hard for you and you can't get anything manifested, you have to experience that. It has to produce that experience for you because that is, that's what you keep saying. If you say, money is so easy for me to manifest, it has to give you all these situations where money is easy for you. Money just has to come to you from everywhere. If you say your SP loves you over and over and over and over again, no matter what the experience is, if you're telling your subconscious that your SP loves you and it's constantly texting you, then it has to produce that in your reality and you are going to experience that back because that is what, that's how it works. It's like a photocopy machine. It just says, oh, you want this? Okay, well, print it. Here it is. Oh, we keep saying this, so this must be true. It's got to push it out. That's its job. 
That is the easiest, that, that is the simplest way I can think to explain it as to how it works. This is why we can create our own rules because if we keep telling our subconscious that we don't have to repeat a lot, we can affirm for a day and it manifests. Then, because you know what a day implies, because you know that, your subconscious knows that, it's not stupid, it knows what things imply to you. So, that is the experience you're going to have. It has to make that true. Your subconscious's job is to make your most dominant thoughts true. Because if it's something you're thinking all the time, or if it is something you truly believe to be true, it must match that. It must make it true. That is its job to make it, to prove it, to prove you to be right. I remember, I believe it was Bob Proctor that said, no matter what you say, your he said the universe, but your subconscious says, yes, correct. No matter what you say, I suck at manifesting. Manifesting is hard. Yes, correct. So here's all the experiences to prove to you that manifesting is hard because I have to prove to you that you, I have to prove you right. I'm your subconscious, I have to prove you right. Here's all the experiences that further prove you to be right. Manifestation is hard. I'm a master at manifesting. Manifesting is so easy for me. Yes, you're right. Here are all these experiences that further prove that manifesting is easy for you. I manifest anything I want in three days. Yes. Here is your proof. Every time you affirm, it comes within three days. Because I have to prove you to be right. You're absolutely right. Here's your proof. It has to give you your proof. It produces your proof. Which is why I say it's first you affirm. You do the repetition. You can create your rules with repetition to where you don't have to repeat a lot. Like I said, we, we've talked about this. You can create your own rules. You don't have to do all the repetition if you don't freaking want to. But you do have to first condition yourself with the fact that you don't have to affirm a lot, okay? But you start with the repetition. It starts producing out in your reality. Your subconscious is going to produce the proof for you. Because your subconscious has produced the proof for you, then because you are now physically experiencing it, that's when you believe it. Especially if you, ha if you experience it multiple times. When you are consistently experiencing the, your affirmations, your manifestations, that is when they become assumptions. This is why I say you don't assume something first if it's something new. You already have set in assumptions or beliefs that are constantly consistent in your reality. But when you're creating a new one, it starts with the repetition. The subconscious does its job, puts it in your reality. You keep being consistent until it feels normal, until you're past that stage of, did I manifest that? Or did or is this just a coincidence or would that have happened anyway? Because that's normal. That is a normal part of manifestation, especially in the beginning. Hell, it's a normal part of manifestation in general. Sometimes you just, did I really manifest that or would that have happened anyway? It was a manifestation. But the more consistent your subconscious is with producing you the proof, which is its literal job, that's all it does. That's literally all it does. Then you will start to expect this situation to be this way in your reality your sp to love you the money to come in the manifesting to be easy whatever it is and then it becomes a belief and an assumption that is how it works no matter all the ways you've ever been told on how to manifest and what vibrations to match and what way to word this and this rule and this rule and this rule throw it away it is as simple as okay my subconscious's job is to prove me right. So, I need to tell it what to prove me right about. Because that's where I'm in control. I can have it prove me right about anything I want. So it is my job to make sure I send the message enough and don't contradict it so there's no confusion. I send my subconscious the message enough to where it prove it knows to produce it to prove me right because that's its only job and then it will become a belief 
It is that simple, guys. Literally that simple. Let me know if this helped you and if that actually helped clear things up for you in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And we out.